Thank you all for tuning in. This is the Wustroy. That's right, Wustroy 2 review. It is a e-commerce um, theme from Template Monster created by Zemez. And so wait, right now I'm in the dashboard in WordPress. So if you made it this far, that means that you've installed the uh, theme wizard that came with your uh, zipped up package. So that means that you are now able to install and you should see that here. So once you've installed your license or order number, you'll be able to click install. And then it's going to go through your system information and you should have all green. If you have yellow or red, you may want to up your memory limit and your max execution time. But as you can see, everything is OK for me. One thing that I do like about um, this this theme is that it has a lot of various e-commerce themes that you can choose from. So if you are a person that does makeup, if you sell sporting goods, if you um, are, you know, selling electronics, anything that you can think of, look at all of these options that you have. Um, and it sets up pretty nice, you know, for you. One thing I like about any of Template Monsters themes is that you can install the, you know, the demo content. So I'm just going to pick one just for the heck of it. Let's just go with the Wustroy 2. You can pick whatever you like. And so it's going to give you some required plugins that you must have to make this experience great. But then it also recommends all of these other plugins and they do fit fairly nice. One thing that I'm going to also add here is the Jet Reviews for Elementor because it's a pretty decent uh, plugin to have so you can do reviews or your clients will be able to, you know, leave reviews. So what I'm going to do is just let these load up. And I'll come back in a few. So now we have the template plugins installed. Next, we're almost there. We're going to install the demo data. Now, if you already have uh, existing data, you'll want to choose this option. Okay? It'll be added to the current theme. Most times, what I do is I replace my existing content with the demo content, especially if it's a new install, or you could just simply, you know, skip the demo content. But just for the sake so you can see how the template will look, we're going to go ahead and install with the demo t uh, the demo content just so you can get a feel and I'll walk you around the template. So the next thing I'll do is enter my password. And then after this, the next thing you'll see is the live preview of the template. So now that we have it all installed, let's view the site. And since this site uses Elementor Page Builder, You'll be able to edit on the fly. You'll be able to edit on the front end and we'll check that out. So as you can see, you have the Wustroy 2 recent products, the winter collection, different little category categories. Let's just click on one. If we can hold on. In fact, let's click on a product just so you can see what the breakdown is. So if you have a clothing store, store you sell an apparel, this will be perfect to get started. In fact, you want to keep it as simple as possible so people can navigate your site. So this is loading up. So as you can see, you see your standard add to cart. Amongst other things. And then this is the review plug-in that was installed earlier with the jet review and just for the sake of it let's um let's see let's edit the product let's see how easy it is to edit the product let's see what it will entail so let's make some updates so I made some updates on the back end now I'm gonna go with let's see uh, edit with Elementor just to see what it'll do just to let you see what it is that you'll have in place and this is the free version of Elementor with the addition of jet elements plugins uh, from Zemez so 
it gives you that all around experience. So if you don't have the pro version, then you don't have to, um, you don't really have to purchase it if you don't need to. So this is what you can do as far as actually um, editing that product page. You can actually go in here and, you know, edit some of the description. You can also go in and change the pictures. Now next, I'm going to find out how we can actually change prices and such. So right now I'm on a product and we're going to edit that. So we've already established that with Elementor you can switch some of your pictures and stuff around. But if you want to mess around with the pricing, what you'll have to do is of course you'll you know want to run the setup on you know WooCommerce uh, you know to set up your shipping and all of that stuff but this is a variable product meaning that you're wanting to you know um, you know have different attributes like a color and size you want your user to be able to you know pick between black red and white um, and then for sizes medium large extra large I'll expand that so you can see that as well and then under variations this is when you can go in let's see yes and so if you have a color black and it's large or whatever sizes you have then you can set your price in here and your sales price you can also set a schedule so if you want that to be from April the 5th to April 10th where the regular price um, was 34 but until you know you you know run that schedule say from April 5th to April 10th or April 14th then it's going to be at $14 so that's a great way to put items on sale you can also change um, the feature image picture there so the image that I'm looking at once you make those changes you'll be able to preview those things So as you can see, regular price 34 uh, euros, now $14 on sale, or 14 euros. So this is just for the heck of it. Go in here under the variations. And let's change this to 20 bucks. So now what you'll be able to do is update that. And once that's updated, you'll be able to preview changes again. So it's going to refresh my tab that I already had open. And it should appear with the new information. Now, what it's saying here is it's actually showing from 14 euros to 20 euros. Let's see what I put on this is good this is awesome for us to see at this moment so let's go into variations again and let's see why it's showing a range instead of showing that and maybe it's because ah, I think I know why let's, let's check it out so if we go and shop And what it's showing is it's on sale from 14 to 20 dollars, but we have to pick our color. Once I select large, there we go. So it's regular priced at 34 dollars and 20 dollars. So what you'll need to go is go through every variation that if you want to sell them all at 20 dollars at the regular, you know, and it was at regular price 34, you'll need to go to black, uh, red, and white large medium extra large and change those one by one overall this is a great uh, theme for those of you who are looking to start an online store um, there are various options like I showed you at the beginning that you can use um, that comes you know straight out the box easy for you to go in and change any of the stock images to your own images comes with a slew of plugins that you can use to get started and to be honest with you it's a great start it does all the heavy lifting for you and that's why I would recommend it to anybody that's looking to start a store it's very 
um, you know, there is a bit of a learning curve with some of it to, you know, do the di different variations for your products, but you can figure those things out because of the documentation that comes with WooCommerce uh, as a part of WooStroy. So thank you for tuning in, and I hope that you like this hands-on review.